welcome back to my channel i am kaylia i'm gonna show you how i achieved this hairstyle using the crochet method if you want to see how i got this done stick around and keep on watching for this style i'll be using three packs of the sensational crochet hair in the color t1b27 you'll need hair jam rubber bands and a hair crochet needle I'm starting at the back, working my way up to the front. This style was inspired by Chic Natural on YouTube. I've gone ahead and parted the first row. So you're going to push the crochet needle through the hair, then attach the loop of the hair to the crochet needle, close the needle and pull through. Then I remove the needle and use using my fingers, pull the hair through the loop. Then I added gel to the section of hair and proceeded to twist in the direction of the passion twist. Please note when adding the elastic band not to go over more than 4 to 5 times. After all, we don't want the style to feel tight and uncomfortable. Now I'm all done with the back section, let's move to the front. I decided to go with a center part and I made three rows on each side. I'm going to do the same thing I did to the back. Also, a little parting 101, using the jam in between parts helps to create cleaner parts. I've noticed that a lot of professionals tend to do this and it actually helps. Okay. Time for one last close up of how to install these crochet passion twists. Add a shine and jam, add your rubber band going over four to five times. Push the crochet needle through, attach the loop, close the latch, pull it through. Then use your fingers to pull the hair through. Mm -hmm. 
add jam or edge control to the section of hair. Then twist in the same direction as the crochet passion twist. Close to the end of each twist, I usually go in with a little extra jam just to keep things in place. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, there's not much tension. Each twist can move in every direction. And this style took me a total of four hours and I had approximately 50 braids. intention was to make these look as professional as possible and since I don't have the best grip in the world I decided to go in with my rubber bands you might be able to see one or two of them but I tried my best to just hide the rubber bands as best as I could and I think it looks great guys I'm so proud, proud. I really need my oh, yeah. About a week into wearing this hairstyle, I noticed that some of them were frizzing out. So I went in with some got to be glue on my ends. I know I really shouldn't be using this glue, but it's the best thing I had to hold. And I just took a small amount, rubbed it in, and applied it to the ends and twisted it to keep it in place. And I ended up just wearing this hairstyle for two weeks because a lot of them kept um, frizzing out. And that's it after I've applied the gel. So take down for this style is usually quite simple. Start by unwrapping your own hair from the braid. Once you've gotten to the base, tug on the loop until it becomes loosened. And then the passion twist should easily fall out or come out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, comment, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.